Okay, today's topic is on the uh, Ferro cement. As you have already said it in your concrete technology, Ferro cement is nothing but a cement in the concrete which is mixed with uh, the reinforcement but in the type meshes. So Ferro cement is nothing but uh, it was very long back introduced and uh, it is in a structural system where the layer of concrete and the layer of the meshes embedded inside okay sandwich inside the concrete steel meshes are sandwiched inside the concrete we call that as a ferro cement so if you want to define it ferro cement is a type of thin wall reinforced concrete so it is a very thin wall which is uh, given with the reinforcement and that reinforcement is a wire meshes so that we call it as a ferro cement okay Usually, this will be given in an hydraulic structures. And the reinforcement with the closely spaced <coughs> layers and continuous and the relative small size meshes. And meshes may be made of metallic or other suitable materials. So, the mortar provides a mass and the reinforcements or the meshes will give you the tensile strength. As you know, the concrete is very weak in tension. It cannot take up the tension forces, so we'll have to give the substitute for it. Uh, so that will be the reinforcement. So then re here the reinforcement is in terms of meshes, uh, by your meshes. Uh, okay, the building uh, when the building ferro cement structures or uh, the cement or the sand mortar is applied to the reinforced wire with the trowels. So it can be with a trowel or it can be ganited. Okay, usually nowadays we are using the ganiting process because uh, when we use the trowel, there uh, they the meshes where the sizes of the meshes or the uh, spacing or the what you call meshing that size is, uh, will be very small, right? So it cannot we cannot give the finishing more properly. So in such cases, we'll go for the uh, ganiting. Okay. Uh, ferro uh, cement is a super reinforced concrete it is uh, differing from the conventional concrete uh, and it will have a high ratio of steel to cement mortar uh, so when we talk about the uh, under reinforced over reinforced in such type but here what happens it will take up the tension forces but not in the mean time mean members uh, okay uh, and then we'll go for Uh, here we have by altering the cement uh, and the uh, cement and the steel ratio of making ferro cement we actually produce a material which is uh, exhibiting the property superior to either steel or cement separately when we talk about the cement properties and their uh, different properties cement completely a different property it has steel completely it has different property when we combine that it will form a uh, one single mass so when we talk about this sub cement separately and uh, uh, steel separately they will have its own strength individual strength when we combine it will give a enhances the strength that is the meaning of it and it will not have the cracking that is the major advantage here so that is about the next one this is how it uh, it will be where you have this is the by or meshes and this is what we call it as a ferro cement usually in a residential building when we talk about the, the showcases okay in, uh, back to that we'll give the ferro cement because there you don't want the uh, thick uh, brick walls there so usually we prefer it for the ferro cement that is a uh, usual procedure that we do it in some cases we'll give it in a parapet wall the uh, parapet wall also will give the ferro cement that is what that is the commonly that we use the ferro cement in, in this places okay then look techniques of uh, manufacturing the, the hand plastering we will do i told you no we'll go with the trowel and we'll do the plastering that will give the meshes on the either side we'll go to the plastering okay semi machined process semi machine processes either uh, we'll use the light compaction and we'll go with the uh, plastering process 
here comes the gelatin process gelatin is nothing but you are giving the cement slurry you are introducing the cement slurry in that will um, that we need that will be in the uh, liquid format okay injecting the cement slurry into the cement by default as a gelatin okay the material used in the uh, ferro cement is uh, cement mortar mix and uh, skeleton uh, steel cement mortar is nothing but uh, the mortar mix what we do it one is to six or one is to eight like that whatever the ratio we prefer it for that to be that will the cement mortar we need that material to do the ferro cement and skeleton steel is nothing but it is a, a mesh bio meshes that we go with and skeleton steel is nothing but you have the steel which will hold the meshes meshes reinforcements that is the skeleton steel that means so for a one spacing we will give one one bar and on that we will give the bio meshes and then we will go for the the knighting process that is what the skeleton steel is so when we talk about the next one is a cement mortar mix uh, the ordinary portland cement and the fine aggregate matrix is used later when we are mixing the cement uh, mortar we use the ordinary portland cement and we use the fine aggregates cement mortar is the mixture of the cement and the fine aggregate we use the same matrix consists of a matrix is a whole component matrix consists of 95 percentage of cement mortar and 5 percentage of wire meshes okay the whole uh, ferro cement will have 95 percentage of the cement mortar and 5 percentage of the wire meshes wire meshes will be very thin and it will be in a mesh mesh format okay and uh, fine aggregates is a sand um, occupy 60 to 75 percentage of volume of the water okay and plasticizers and other admixtures can be used whenever you want they are using in the hydraulic structure you can go with the retarders and when you are using the parapet walls where you wanted to uh, have the uh, aeration process more or the hydration process rapidly so we can use the admixtures more and where the strength is required you can use the plasticizers and the super plasticizers or other any admixtures okay the mixed proportion will be sand uh, cement ratio by mass of 1.5 to 2.5 or uh, the ratio of it will be 1.5 to 2.5 okay then uh, the water is uh, cement ratio water cement ratio is uh, 0 0.35 to 0 0.6 in between we will use the proportions next sand is uh, we will use the zones different zones zone 1 or zone 2 sand we will use it or you can use the n sand nowadays we are using the n sands that should be free from all the impurities like that you need to choose your fine aggregates then water should be free from all the soils and organic impurities and minimum to achieve the desired workability ph equal or greater than seven the water whatever you are using it should be equal to or greater than seven so that it will not corrode the mesh inside the minimum to achieve it's it has to achieve its own workability like that you need to give the minimum water skeleton uh, steel is nothing but uh, it supports the wire meshes as i told you it is a wire uh, steel bars which will support the wire meshes and this bar will be a uh, minimum of uh, three you are getting now six to eight of them it will be there and the uh, thickness varies from uh, 6 of 20 mm according to the load conditions okay and uh, and thickness of this and if you are it can be mild steel or you can use it uh, the uh, h by sd bars usually the 8 mm will be of the uh, mild steel only used to impart structural strength in case of boats usually this will be in the port making 
hydraulic structures. Okay, similar uh, reinforcement should be free from dust, rust, and other impurities. Okay, so this is what the wire meshes we are talking about. Uh, it is a galvanized steel wire, so of, uh, it is made and this has made the Indian meshes and its diameter will be something around 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 mm space at 6 to 20 mm center to center okay 6 mm to 20 mm it varies from 6 to 20 okay the welded bio meshes have hexagonal or a rectangular opening uh, expanded metal lacquers also used uh, made from carbon glasses etc expanded metals also you can use it here okay so that will have the expansion joints properties of the ferrocementers it is uh, it is very durable cheap and versatile material and uh, low water cement ratio produces impermeable structures in where it will not allow the water to pass through and uh, it, is, it will give the durability and it is very cheap to work with it and also it has the uh, cost of construction is also uh, less okay and then uh, shrinkage it reduces the shrinkage and when we talk about the weight it is very less when we uh, compare to RC structures it has a high tensile strength and the stiffness, um, better impact and uh, punching shear resistance we have and undergoes a large deformation before uh, cracking up. It will take up a more defle deformation as it is very flexible in nature. So it will not crack and it will take high deflection. That is what the major advantages of this. Uh, so here it will reduce the 20 percentage of the material length, material cost and construction also. And it is a fire resistance, low maintenance cost, high permeability will be having, flexibility is more as it is a deflection, it will take more deflection, it will have more flexibility and it can be turned into any shape and sizes. So that is one of the advantage here. Okay, as, it, as we are using the wire meshes, it can be bent very easily. It can be turned up into any shape, uh, any sizes or any shape that we want that. Uh, and it will usually this will be used in the architectural works also. In the front elevation in the architectural work, we will use this. Uh, okay. In, it is a thin material and it is also very lightweight material and it, it reduces... Uh, in the weight uh, total dead load that is uh, one of the advantage and it is a uh, waterproof and it will be uh, the expansion in the contraction forms it will not uh, shrinkage what we call it is high shrinkage as uh, resistance so now uh, when we talk about uh, the ferro cement disadvantages uh, low in shear strength and the thickness is very less uh, it will have the very low shear strength. It can uh, crack or uh, the shear forces and where you have the negative forces, then it will fail very easily. Uh, then it, very low ductility is nothing but when we talk, it can bend or it can uh, deflect. But when we talk about ductility, ductility, it is very low, it will take up very low, it will break easily then it will not expand expand easily the concrete is a it is just a filler uh, is sandwich right it will break easily brittle material concrete is a brittle material uh, then large number of uh, uh, labors are required as we are going with the two side uh, machine and it is not using any of the skip folding then also earlier you will have to give the large number of labors and when we talk about the skeleton rods and the wire meshes holding them in a position making into a particular shape and size it will become a very hectic process and it will consume more time to by using this 
and it will uh, it can be punched by collision with the point that subject uh, subjected and the way the point load is more the point load uh, impact loadings point yeah. loading system it can fail easily okay it is a basically it is very weak in the shear then the application of the, the ferro cement is a, a marine application this can be used in manufacturing of boats and fishing vessels cargoes and floating uh, boats like that we can use this one uh, ferro cement usually in the manufacturing of boats we use this one as you all know uh, key criteria so for marine application is the lightweight impact uh, uh, resistance thickness and the water type I mean, uh, it will not allow the water so then when we talk about the water supply and sanitation when we are constructing the water tanks uh, with the circular water tanks it can be bent easily so we use it in the water tank and it will not allow any it will not allow the uh, water to flow inside it so we can use this in the construction of water tanks uh, sedimentation tank also where the, we are using the water treatment plant uh, there is a sedimentation tank also we use this and in construction of the swimming pool also we use this septic tank everywhere we use this uh, and then agricultural process uh, where we see the silos, bunkers, grain bins, storage bins, shells, dooms, everywhere we use this uh, ferro cement. And in residential building, as I told you, in the precast constructions and uh, in the roof projections, there we will use it. And uh, where the architectural look we want, there we will use it wall panels is um, that we use it parapet wall we will use it or they will use it uh, okay then the rural uh, energy is a biogas digesters holders uh, insulators their panels of uh, solar they will use this one and miscellaneous is uh, wind tunnels silos bunkers i told you know all they will use this one bus shelters and pedestrian uh, bridges soil stabilization we use this in so soil stabilization also and one of the major application is in the uh, black cotton soils so where we wanted to make the most stabilized one okay there we go with the ferro cement uh, where we will use the pile foundations and all that right? there we will go for this uh, ferro cement and then we use the uh, some materials as a filler material and we go for it okay and we, when we are giving with the precast constructions uh, uh, cargoes they we use this one okay so this is about it and applications and uh, advantages disadvantages that is how we go with and the manufacturing process that will be the important um, questions behind this Okay, and this is a small topic as you already know, uh, know this uh, so I've briefed it out and uh, that will be the today's portion. Thank you.